to show that crystals of copper sulfate contain water of crystallization. Materials required Spatula Watch glass Copper sulfate and a burner Take some crystals of copper sulfate CuSO4.5H2O in a spatula. Heat these crystals on a burner by keeping the spatula directly over the flame of the burner. Notice the change in color of the copper sulfate crystals. They change to white during the heating. If the color changes to white, keep on heating the crystals for some more time. As the temperature is high, the copper sulfate crystals start appearing white. When copper sulfate pentahydrate is heated, it loses water of crystallization as a result of evaporation. Losing water of crystallization turns hydrated copper sulfate into anhydrous copper sulfate salt. Stop heating when it becomes completely white. Transfer the content to a watch glass. Keep the watch glass in an open atmosphere for some time and allow it to cool and we observe that the white color of the anhydrous copper sulfate is changed to blue. When copper sulfate is heated strongly, it changes into white color forming anhydrous copper sulfate. Later. When the anhydrous copper sulfate is in contact with air, it absorbs moisture from the air and the color of copper sulfate is changed to blue. It is a reversible chemical change.